The sponsor of this episode is BetterHelp. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Nedge Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. We want to let you all know that your mental health matters. And seeking therapy is something everyone should do. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with it. There are so many times in my life that I, I wouldn't have been able to get through as well without calling my therapist and be able uh, to talk through things. Because, you know, life's complicated. And there's a lot of our um, kind of transitions that we go to through in life that are complicated. You don't actually know what you're feeling and why you're feeling it. And uh, having like a professional kind of non, non-biased person to talk things through and figure out what you're feeling, it's very important. Absolutely. I think the loneliest times of my life have been when I haven't asked for what I've needed, mm. right? Needed um, friends, needed resources that I didn't have, needed you know help that I was too afraid to ask for. And I know that when I do find the courage to ask for what I need, my life blossoms, right? And yours has the power to blossom too. Yeah. Yeah, guys, if you're ready to start your therapy journey, we think better help is the right way to do it. Yep, they've made it convenient, uh, all online, yeah. and e- easy to get signed up, easy to get started, and easy to find uh, a therapist that suits your needs. So go to betterhelp.com slash declassified for 10% off your first month of therapy um, and start your journey with a licensed professional that is specific to your needs. Exciting news, Woo! guys! Woo! Oh, we yeah. are here to announce that the Neds nudes have finally leaked. No, oh, dude. Yeah. We're doing, doing Ned Squad Live! Hey! Yeah. Hey! Woo! No more of this screen action. We want to see you in person. Okay, space is limited at the Regent Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Monday, November 13th, we're bringing Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide and all its insanity. Monday, November 13th, in person. All the smells. All the nostalgia. All the realness. Come see us. Tickets are available now. Link in the description. Hey! Hey. Hey. On a podcast! podcast. Oh my! And a very special podcast because we have gifts. What? Oh! Bam! What is this? Brought to you. Yeah, you just... (laughs) Brought to you by one of our loyal Just supporters. Make sure there's oh, no is that a note? Showing on there. Oh, oh, I, I, Daniel, it's okay, oh, okay no. buddy. Here, I'm gonna... a... God dang oh, it! Oh, I ruined it. Oh wow! I'm so sorry. It was so cute. Oh, <laughs> hey Ned's Pod. Please don't think I'm creepy. LOL. We don't. <laughs> Daniel gave me the green light to send you all some goodies. Sending all of this to you guys is beyond my wildest dreams. Oh, uh-huh. my nine, ten-ish year old self would <laughs> shit her pants if <laughs> someone told her this would be happening. Sounds like one of our my fans. My name's <laughs> Alyssa, and I created and own my own Tumblr business. Tumblrs are coffee beverage cups. I make all kinds of things, but Tumblrs are my main item. Making, designing them brings me so much joy, and it is my biggest dream to have everyone, big and small, own one of my Tumblrs. So uh-huh. getting the chance to send my favorite child to adulthood humans means everything to me. I swear your podcast is on daily and I rush to every new episode, TikTok and Patreon update, LOL. I hope you guys love your tumblers, but even if you don't, just lie to me, LOL. <laughs> uh, I would be honored to send you more for your personal pods, events, or even crew. Just let me know. You hear that, crew? Crew. Uh-huh. Um, I have so many ideas for designs for each of you, but I didn't want to look insane. I did, however, need to send Lindsay a custom design I had that reminded me of her. So I promise you'll be next, Devin and Daniel. I have music-themed tumblers in the works for you, too. Feel free to reach out for any future Tumblr needs. I'm your girl. My website is still in the works, but you can find me on TikTok and Facebook at Tumblr Bay, B-A-Y, and your Patreon. Yeah. Um, as Alyssa, this has been a dream for me. Please enjoy. Oh, thank Alyssa. you, Alyssa. Patrons it's sending about, gifts to the pod. That. Let's see them. Holding my heart right in your crack hand. Crack them out, First of all, Daniel. Great penmanship. Okay. What, what is this beautiful. going on here? Oh, care instructions. Like you're there a are care instructions. I'll read those later. This is very nice packaging, yeah, though. Yeah, because we Tumblr do have a Bay. rewatch to do. So yes. give me, oh, give yeah, me yeah. these so things, let's be man. Quick. Come let's on. Let's be quick. <gasps> oh, chapstick for me? Are you saying I have dry lips? Dry oh my gosh, look, she put it on the thing. Yeah, super cool. Oh my gosh, she made us um, pop sockets oh, pop for sockets. the back of the phone. We love oh, that. And look at these chapsticks with the... That one's yours. Oh, here's your chapstick. 
You crusty lipped person. <laughs> oh, oh, we're on them all. I thought it was yeah, just my face. Yeah, it's all of us, Daniel. This is great. This is great. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. We I have can't. Ned's chapstick. We might need to hire you to do some of our merch here. Alyssa. I am like, these are so. What does this thing do? A car coaster. It says this is a car coaster. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So your cup holder doesn't get all sweaty. We got four. Dylan can have one now. This <gasps> is great. <laughs> is it lit? Let's see the tumblers. Okay, we're unveiling. For those just listening on audio, we're oh. <laughs> Just a girl who loves wieners. Oh, that's perfect, Alyssa. Dude. With a bunch of wiener dogs on it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alyssa, you know Lindsay so well, because literally every time I see a wiener dog out in the world, I try and get a video of it, and I send it to uh, to Linz. So much joy, Alyssa. <laughs> it's like you know me forever. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Yeah, when I was That's in Amsterdam, dope. I basically like chased down this family to film their little wiener dog so I could ah. send it to Lindsay. <laughs> Bruh. They, it, just too much joy in the world. Um, Alyssa, slam Alyssa, dunk. Thank, thank you. you so much. This, oh, is, this is so yours, dope. That's just <gasps> Devin. Oh my gosh, you monogrammed it. Devon. Oh, you get one of the oh. regular ones too. Oh, and then oh, that's going to be yours. Be for <gasps> Um, oh, this is so cool. Alyssa, thank you so much. Because honestly, we uh, we use cups like when we're filming the pod. Yo, I kind of want to just drinking stuff. So we're going to use them. Should this we just put Alyssa's? That's, that's what I'm saying. We product. might just use Alyssa's um, tumblers here, for the pod now. Take all this away for yeah, now. Oh my gosh, and a straw here. cleaner? Yo, yeah, no, you and brought everything. And let's get to our rewatch. Okay. But Alyssa, you're the Alyssa, jam. you are the truth, man. And I love how this is packaged. This is amazing. Can okay. Is here or will it be in the stuff? I'm going to literally Just make sure that all my yeah. goodies, like, I'm going to specifically get them, Alyssa. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alyssa. You are the best. Dude, that this is wow, so that tight. Is so joyous. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Our fans. Did are you just smell red. it? Yeah. They're the best. Yeah. Mm. You know, like a new, like a new cup. You love that new tumbler smell? Get your tumblers from Alyssa. I mean, and look at that. Like it's, it's not just nice stuck quality, on. Dude. Yeah, how did you this that is, monogram stuff is, is nice. sexy? Um, thank right. you so much. And thanks for being a patron. Uh thanks if so any much. listeners or viewers uh would like to become a patron, patreon.com slash Ned's pod. We hey. put a bunch of um crazy even weirder shit up on there scenes content on there more raw stuff and we do live streams with uh just the patrons and uh it's a good time wow i am so joyous yeah that was lovely I, we've been yeah. gifted um hey guys let's oh i thought you were doing this i wasn't okay let's um <laughs> let's <laughs> today we were re-watching uh notes notes season yes. one episode 10 ish 10 a um, here's the recap. Get ready. It's sort of long. Ned gets caught passing a note for Bitsy, mm -hmm. the, the pre Missy Meanie yeah. blonde, uh, bitchy girl. Susie um, Crabgrass is in on it too. Yes. Ned gets her. caught passing a note for Bitsy and takes the heat for it mm -hmm. from Sweeney and Sweeney makes him write a big report and he has a choice to make. Is he going to be a snitch? Is he going to be a rat? Or is he going to take the heat for this? This Bitsy mm -hmm. and Ned ain't no snitch. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, Bitsy's a little asshole about it. Yep. Uh, okay. Cookie plays mop bucket chicken with Loomer, with Loomer and is late to Durga's class. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he has to get Durga a note from a teacher saying why he was late. Yeah. Which brings us to Le Forge. Le Forge. Le Forger, Tyler mm -hmm. Chase, who plays Martin Quirley. Uh -huh, uh -huh. um, Mose is getting love notes in calligraphy, and is she starts off foolishly assuming that it's Seth who's writing Who's them. an actual idiot. Seth Powers, who's an actual Orange. idiot. <laughs> Orange. 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 Seth trying <laughs> to come up with a rhyme for Orange for his basketball, and Orange is a word that has no rhyme. Unless you're Eminem. Uh Facts. Yes. Facts. <laughs> um, uh, so then she thinks it's Loomer who's writing them. Uh, we do like a little spit take gag. Oh, that was hilarious. Uh, that was I love that. Awesome. You nailed what? that. Like, that was He so grabs a, some water from a passerby. Yeah, that was so fun. Moses is like, I think it's Loomer who's writing these notes. And I'm like, hold on one second and grab some water from a passerby just to do a spit take. But it was a perfect what? spit what? take. You did a good one. That was great. I, I love the, you did a good I love one. the slapstick comedy. Man, that's like one of the joys of 
Ned's. Um, but, but then the sequence, I, I was so surprised we didn't smile during that sequence because it was so funny. Like, like mm. we were all three doing something so funny in that mm -hmm. scene, and I just feel like, yeah, yeah, it took a second. Yeah, we got it. No, before that, can I just mention? Yeah, please. What, this hilarious moment for Loomer was um, when you received the note and you're telling Ned about it, or you're telling Ned and Cookie, I think, and you're like, dude, I just got this note. I think it's from some cute boy. And Loomer kind of leans over and he's like, oh, you got a note? <laughs> who, who wrote you a note or whatever? And you're about to tell him who you think it is, and then you're like, uh, you would never understand. And he looks so heartbroken right there. I thought that was It was huge precious. Yeah. yeah, it was really precious. He's like, what's this love note about? And then you just crush his heart and soul. Um, but then you do think it's Loomer who's writing it. So you start following him around to try and find out if it's him. Mm -hmm. um, while that's going on, Cookie... Uh, <laughs> Cookie is abusing his newfound power. Yeah, he befriends Le Forger with, with uh, coconut macaroons uh -huh. and starts using uh, the forged notes for everything. Everything. Yep. Getting I'm massages. having shellfish dinner because I have a shellfish <laughs> diet in the middle of class. Massages. Yeah. yeah, so Cookie's abusing La Forger. Um, Ned finds out that... Uh, oh, yeah, Mose follows Loomer around. Ned finds out that everyone is getting screwed by Bitsy passing notes. Like, mm -hmm. everyone is right. writing this report, Detention. and everyone's like, I was passing a note for Bitsy. I was passing a note for Bitsy. Yeah. So they come up with a plan to uh, get her in trouble. Meanwhile, Mose confronts Loomer. I loved that scene. You confront Loomer about like, was this you writing the notes? And he's like, I'm a complicated guy. Uh -huh. But then his bully friends come up and are like, is this a sappy love note? Oh, yeah, Who yeah, yeah. Who wrote this? <laughs> and, then he and you call him out immediately. <laughs> Moe snitches him immediately. They're like, who wrote this? And Moe's is like, him. Mm. And then they're like, what? <laughs> Ah. And he eats, and it. He eats <laughs> it and like you cover for him. Um, I loved that scene. Yes. Meanwhile, the teachers have used Cookie to get to Le Forger oh, yeah. and become full on Bond villains for a moment. Yeah, they're trying to get to the kingpin and they use they use me to yeah. get to him. Yeah. They become like slapstick like uh -huh. -ha 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 You let us laughing. right to his lair. Yes. Uh -huh. um, but Cookie texts him and gets him out in time, yeah. and they, and they no don't snitch. find... Cookie, mm -mm. Cookie's no snitch either. Only no Moses snitch. is a snitch. Yeah. They're like, who wrote this note? And Lindsay's like, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Um, yeah, and then Ned and the whole class cover Bitsy in notes, get her in trouble, got her, and then at the end, we see that Martin Corley is Le Forger. Mm -hmm. What an episode. I'm sorry, him breaking into those... <laughs> Like a little, oh, like a little raccoon. Yeah. A little that was gremlin. hilarious. <laughs> oh. That was hilarious. So good. This was a, a real fun, this was a real fun one. A real like silly, fun, good time. That yeah. sequence was, you do the spit take, then I say, do you think there's anything else that could be going on like in Luber's brain and we're watching him from across the thing, then he bites the flowers. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. And yes. it was one of the funniest because we were all just through doing our own thing, but it flowed really <laughs> Yes. Well. And then, fucking, yeah. Yeah, there was a funny moment at the beginning of the episode, too, where you both come up to me with, like, your situations with notes oh, and yeah. wanting tips. And I'm like, okay, you go first, Mose. And, and you're like, I was written this sappy love note in calligraphy. And then I just, like, I just, like, face you. I'm just like, Boop. yeah, never mind. Cookie, go first. <laughs> like, just nope. Yep. Bruh. Yeah, I love that. And then in the bloopers of this episode, we got to see Alex Black, who plays Seth Powers, Dude. just rhyming orange with every s syllable, like putting every syllable at the front of orange. 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 <laughs> Porringe. <laughs> it's so fucking gold. He's great. He's <sighs> one of the greatest, man. Yeah. God, his line reads. Bruh. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. It was fun. It yeah. was a blast. It was absolutely a blast. Did you guys ever uh, enjoy the love note or two? Oh, I remember. Sending a love note or two. Um, No. You never no. wrote your feelings for someone? Never, and I never would. But when you were a little kid, you wrote Devin that cute little note. What are you talking about? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> hey, oh, fuck. I mean, if we're going to talk about it, right. yeah. that jealous, that projecting, <laughs> passive aggressive headshot sign. <laughs> well, then that's probably the only love note I've ever written. Dang. So yeah. you're not a, you're not a, because uh, Mose was real uh, Can taken I tell you, by this love I, note. I am not a romantic person. Mm. Okay. Could you have guessed? No, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. Death does not equal romance. Right. And I just feel that I had one very like romantic boyfriend who would like write me like notes. And so in comparison to that, like, no, I am not a romantic at all. But it was really sweet to get the notes. This was going to ask, do you like receiving romance or you're not into the conventions at all? The conventions of romance. Receiving know? romance is nice. 
you know, like when it's in that nuanced style and it's really from the heart, like just performative um, romance is like to me. Yeah. Um, but it was really like from the heart and these notes meant a lot. So I was like, oh, that's really romantic. That's nice. But no, I never really returned the gesture when mm. I was making money and actually had money. I used to like connect with people with like gifts and whatever. I would just like buy them something, right? Like I, n not a lot of thought went into the gift. And um, yeah, now that I have no money anymore, I'm a better gift giver. And that's hey, cool. I think there can real. be an asymmetry, a healthy asymmetry in a relationship where like just because someone writes you a beautiful love note doesn't necessarily mean you need to return that love with a love note, you know? Right. Yeah. As long as there's some kind of give Just a blowjob. Yeah. Yeah. See? That's the Everybody quickest wins. way to a man's heart. Right? <laughs> Everybody yeah. wins. Uh, notes, man, dang. Um, yeah. I had one girlfriend, but this was back, you know, when there's like puppy love going on. Yeah. Well, I think actually like maybe, maybe like two where I did the whole note note sharing thing actually mm -hmm. they were letters i wouldn't call them notes yeah, you right you letters. wrote letters? Love letters love letters yeah we love letters we would put them in little envelopes and give them to each other yeah, yeah. and then this was in two of two of my relationships uh one young lady she just uh calls them young ladies. One too. young lady i feel like just a southern thing it. It i've heard it's somebody like else say that yeah southern thing you know love when he calls him a young lady one of them wasn't very great at she expressed to me that she didn't like to express her feelings in person. Sometimes it feels better for her to just write things down and then hand something off. And she was so she she's such a skilled writer too. Ooh. She's such a skilled writer. So so really beautiful. great stuff that you know made me feel awesome about myself and the fact that someone would share this with only me when it's like, yo, you should be selling this stuff. This is like wow. great. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, I think beautiful. it can be really beautiful. It's a different thing to write someone out your kind of thoughts and feelings and acknowledgement of them yeah. or you both or whatever that is. Like, I definitely, I definitely wrote like love letters in my day. Yeah. Wow. Definitely shared in the love letter. It's a, it's, it's a nice form of love. It's but a nice thing to sit down and like, because like you can see my love in action or, mm -hmm. you know, in person in different ways. But like it's it's something to like write out. Hey, here's how I like really feel like here's the deep. Here's some deep shit I probably yeah. wouldn't say, but yeah. I'll say it here. You know, I'll write it here. Yeah, because hmm. it's thought out. Yeah, I would feel corny in person trying to just riff and give you this. Exactly. But when I've given the, you know, paid attention and, you know, wrote down, hey, you kind of make me feel like this. Mm. You know, I like it when you did it in it. That's wow. nice. Sweet. Yeah, I never had. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Dang. No, because you know what? I don't think I was actually experiencing like any uh, like um, genuine feeling. I, all of my. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. All of my sort of relationships up to this point have been sort of this like like an escape from where I'm coming from. You know mm. what I'm saying? Or like this like uh, mm. thing where it wasn't fully mirrored, like performative stuff. I never got down to a point where I felt like that vulnerable or that comfortable or that anything. I, I always was a little too damaged with my own trauma to think of anybody else in a, in a real feeling way. Mm. And... So now mm. I feel like it's much different. Like just like I feel like I've gotten friends in the last two years. Like I feel like I can hold a conversation. I know how to get to know people again. Yeah. Like and now I would really be able to write it down because it's coming from me wanting this relationship as opposed to wanting this thing that wasn't resolved in myself in another person. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Because yeah, it's a really selfless. It, it, in a lot of ways, it's self, like it's a. Yeah, it's just not a self-centered act. Yeah. To like. Let me sit, think about the beauty of this person and the intimate ways I feel about them and communicate it to them so they they know and they feel good. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a yeah. different state than like you trying to like escape your pain exactly. with them or whatever right. that is. Yeah. Right. And mm. you act more as like a hanger on, I think, than somebody who's actually, you know, instead of elevating their energy, you're just kind of like hanging on hanging mm. on to it um and that can feel like love you mm. can feel like you want to do everything for each other and always be around each other but really it was like not you know what i mean yeah mm. i didn't value myself and i didn't value him mm. at that moment you know mm. that's wild. deep did uh, either of you ever have to forge a note in school or anything like that i was such a goody two shoes in school yeah you you were so, so you never, never, never. I was a goody two shoes as far as it came to <laughs> academia, but there's no way I'm not going on that class field trip just because <laughs> my mama didn't sign this paper. I'm going <laughs> to the planetarium. <laughs> 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 I don't care what nobody says. So yeah. Um, wow. 
Wow. <laughs> why didn't your mom, why, why wouldn't? No, it was me being a dummy and forgetting about those things. Like oh, sometimes and then you're like, just oh, be, fuck. <laughs> yeah, school, I was just so immersed in all the things I was doing, playing football and da-da-da, and then just sometimes that day comes, it's like, oh, oh, I didn't get permission. Wait, wasn't there a Ned's episode like that? <laughs> Kinda, like I kind of recall somebody, feel like somebody, somebody maybe in the field trip. Oh, the very we might, last we episode. might, we might get to it in field trips. Yeah, yeah that's I think someone. It was you, it's a you? classic thing where someone like needs oh, a fake signature on the final episode. Or they had to stay home. Sense. I thought yeah. they had to stay at school. But they, he couldn't go to the garden, right? Because no, it wasn't him. I think it was somebody, uh, somebody else. But I why think. couldn't he go to the garden in the field trip episode? Right, because I'm hiding the whole episode. I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think it was like that. Yeah, but we'll, nice. we'll talk we'll about that. I mean, we'll get to it. We'll get That'll to that be in three like fucking three years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, when we get to season three. It's going to be a while. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. man. But yeah. Um, How about you? Interesting. I don't think so. I don't think I ever faked, uh, I don't think I ever forged a Did signature. You ever, well, but you, so you were just on time with your stuff. You, you turned everything in. That's good. I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I guess. I was the last, like when it came to schoolwork, dude, I was that classic fucking procrastinator where like. I could get a good grade if I did the work, but why would I always do this to myself? Even now it happens sometimes. I guess it's just my creative process. Okay, mm. anyways, <laughs> um, it's just like waiting until the last goddamn minute and then finishing it with no time and this hyper-stressed energy. Like that was my my move. Barely legible. On, on like pro big projects that I should yeah. have taken a week to do. All of a sudden the night before I'm like doing it and like my mom's like, why do you do this every time? Cause then she has to like pick up the slack or right. like make sure I have the poster board I need or whatever, yeah, you know? Yeah. And I did it every Getting fucking the time. Getting poster board, so I remember that. And the, you would get like a little seven pack or whatever. <laughs> use one and never use, use one, the other one. the other one away <laughs> forever. Bruh. Yeah, Dang. dude, I was, I'm a, I still am kind of that way where like until that necessity is on me, yeah, I, I got time. <laughs> <laughs> like half the reason I didn't like fully watch all of the episodes is truly because like I finally got a hold of my tax person so that my tax extension like by the October 15th so that they can be done. Get it done. But yeah. obviously I, I do this every year, I, at least the last three yeah. where in April I'm like, ooh, I'm going to get that extension. And then every month I swear I think. It's it's October, 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 October's here. October's it's here. October's it's here and now. Here, and anyway, it stresses me out every time. But I agree, <laughs> unless there's like an impetus to like really do it, yeah. I kind of am a, a bare minimum person. I the mean, rest of the time, I like to like, you know, I, I do. And when I when I, <laughs> when I try and take the judgment off myself for being that way, I really like to look at it as like. No, that's smart. Like biologically, you're being efficient. Like no, no extra. You no know what extra, I mean? No extra. No. Like you're uh, you're yeah. taking care of what needs to be taken care of, right? Yeah. And if it can be done the night before, then I mean, hey, I'm gonna do it then. Why yeah. do I need to take a whole week to do yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't real. know. It's sometimes like, gosh, like all that time can really be a constraint. I have been learning, <laughs> like to not I've done that enough times when it comes to like booking flights or like booking an Airbnb mm. or a hotel for a trip that I know I'm going on. Mm. I've done it enough times where like, oh, I could book this right now. Nah. And then when I go to actually book it, like the price is tripled, there's yep. less options and I'm like, no, dude, do the do things like that early. I'm actually I'm getting better at that at learning what things like handle that, dude. Handle Girl, it early. You nice. you got to have to, man, cuz it, it sucks cuz you'll come up with all these excuses for yourself too, you know. It's like, "Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I shouldn't be going on the trip if I can't spend $500 on it." It's like, "But you could have gotten it for 250." But, but, but screw all that. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's tough, man. But yeah, you got guys, please just do it now. When it pops in your head and you know that it's something where there's a finish line or a date that's going to start approaching a deadline do it before that deadline i mean i guess that's the yeah i mean we should all know to do that that's common sense but sometimes common sense is not common and I, we're all human i also think that while it can get done how much quality are you actually sacrificing by like what is the potential of that project that you're sacrificing right by right. not having put in um any time into it to make it the best thing it can be. It's like any, like just whipping something up overnight. It's just feel like a lot of, a lot is lost in creative potential. Definitely. You're right. Yeah. I feel that with like auditions for sure. Like sometimes you have no time anyway. Yeah. Um, like you just don't have time and you have to kind of like throw it out the wall real quick. Right. Yeah. But there's definitely been times in my past where I'm like, why did I 
do whatever the fuck the other night instead of like giving myself more time with this material like yeah. why would i not sit and explore this deeper like what am i doing mm -hmm. bro had to learn that one too many times yeah i mean yeah that that's like that's a mix of procrastination and also prioritization like, yeah just not having those um those ideals in the in the right place but i do that even packing bags for traveling I mess around and don't pack my bag until the morning of. I could have a flight oh, at like 5 a.m. I'm like, well, I got to be up at 3. So I can, <laughs> well, not even 2 a.m. Yeah. 2 a.m. in L.A. No wonder you were late to our fucking flight. Yes, yeah, it was because <laughs> the bag. He's never going to let you forget that. No, no he's it. never. I love Dang. it. Like, I love <laughs> how late. Yeah. Like, I love, like, it, it was like last person no, morning. No, it, and I don't believe I believe I was the only person who could have made that flight <laughs> and, be, and, that, and being that late. That was horrible. Was you horrible tap experience. dancing uh, the, the, the thing that you thought you bought yourself. Bro, and then, that and was, then having to just tap everybody on the shoulder. Dude, I had and I, I think we talked about this. on we the have, yeah, before, like we, but we can talk man. about it again. That shit's so funny. It was horrible. I thought that I bought this. Well, not thought that I bought. I did. I bought this um, like <laughs> skipped the line, skipped the, skipped line, the security pass. line pass. <laughs> And everybody's just like, oh, go talk to that security guard. And then this security guard tells me, oh, go talk to this person. Go talk to this person. My flight's leaving in like uh, 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> and I'm not even through security. Then I finally get to one of these yellow jacketed security guards. And uh, I show them my pass. Here's my front of the line pass. So you're supposed to walk me to the front? He's like, oh, uh, yeah, just, just tap everybody on the shoulder and tell them you got to catch your flight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? And then I... I had to pay you? I had to pay you. To... to to do this to myself? Do this. It was like 50 bucks. <laughs> oh my God. And it was just you so cringy. I, I tapped everybody on oh, their shoulder. Oh, I and bet. It's awful. Oh. Yeah, Spirit Airlines, guys. Don't, don't, I mean, don't do it. Yeah, I, I've beat that part of my, uh, like, like I've gotten so much better at packing. I wouldn't do it don't. the morning of, but I would leave it until the night Nine before and then i'd be up really late rather than like resting or feeling calm i'd be like up packing and my brain half working yeah i've started to get better at that Where like let me pack at least the like day before like morning before or two days before like let me be so done two days mm -hmm. two days and then airports i try and get to i'll be there early dude i'll fucking read i'll fucking shop like not yeah. really. I'll just look at shit. Like I'd rather be there an hour and a half early than feel those. It's feelings. It's so much stress, man, <laughs> dude. I'm sure I've taken years off my life yeah. from trying to force something that could have been so simple. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Dang. Notes. Um, yeah, notes. notes. What else with notes? Notes. I mean, I guess marks, report cards. You know, I, I don't know if that's really notes, but I just want to segue there. Did you guys? Uh, did you guys ever have to have your parents sign your report card to Always. let the teacher know? <laughs> yeah. Always. I think, yeah, I think through some schooling. Yeah. I got a huge spanking once oh. because we we then back in Mississippi we had this like garage and there was like this one section that none of us ever kind of went to. Like my parents, like they put all their old stuff there, and uh, I had been stashing report cards <laughs> under there and then one day like or actually one week i overhear my dad saying yeah we got we got to clean out the garage you got to clean out the garage and i never really you know paid attention to it but this was like Mm, I, I, maybe two years of kind of report cards. Just only the report cards that weren't so great. Exactly. It was like if I had gotten like a a talking too much in class. It wasn't about the grades. Those were all like a's b's but talking too much. What da, did da, you da, tell da. the teacher when you were supposed to have the thing signed? I you just bullshit? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So maybe those teachers were just um, not on top of their stuff enough because well, they let me slide by. My parents never got calls or anything. Or maybe, yeah. I guess maybe for the behavioral stuff, but maybe your grades were just like good enough to where they you really, really only require it from... But it was the talking too much, that right. class yeah. clown thing. And I remember my dad waited for me to get out of the shower. No! Had the belt ready. No! I cleaned out the garage, Dan. What is this? All these report cards you ain't. Da, 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 da. And then my mom's just like, damn. And my mom was a teacher. She's just so sad. Yes, we spanked in our household. Damn. Yes. Dang. And you're coming out of the shower all fucking ah, like ah, steamy, ah, moisturized. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Supple skin. <laughs> yes. I never hit another report card. I'll, I'll tell you, you that. <laughs> Wait, so so they were just disappointed that you hit him, not really what was yeah. well, And also, also that I was talking them. in class. But yeah. Yeah, it was oh, more the they deception. They were still mad that you were talking in class. Yeah, just enough. Just yeah. enough. But. Wow. Yeah. So now, did your brother get the same kind of report that you did? Like, or did he talk in class? Was he good in class? What, what, what did he Ooh, get? Ooh, Nate? <laughs> Nate? Nate? He was, he, was, he was good in school. But uh, he was just combative with 
with people. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. Nate. No, yes, I remember. And it was always, yeah, my teacher just she's just mean. No. No, bro. <laughs> no, bro. He just he he takes the antagonistic position. So exactly. he will he will no, argue you just a point. Been playing devil's advocate just to play devil's advocate. <laughs> Forever, yeah. Wow. So yeah, he, he was argumentative, I think, with the teachers. And he would come up with great arguments and they're like, I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he got many a call, many a call home, yeah. That's great. Yeah. I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> and you were you were a straight A kid, right? I was. Yeah, I was, I was. too. I like bees were like unacceptable. Oh my god. In my house. I would start crying. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. yeah, I was that really annoying kid, like super annoying, who would cry anytime the teacher was upset. Like mm. I would cry. I remember this one time <laughs> we would have to go to church every day, every day before school. And it was fucking 8 a.m., right? Mm -hmm. So like I would like rest my head back on the pew just a little. <laughs> but then I thought I had gotten away with it for this whole mass. And there was like a couple other kids doing it. So I was like, they can't catch all of us, right? <laughs> She dismisses everybody else from mass. The whole school was there, so that everybody else is dismissed. She keeps us in there, and she freaking thrashes us about laying our heads back right in front of God, and all like, I mean, how dare you rest in front of God? I mean, God. she is literally hey, not yelling at us in church, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh. it was like the first day of fifth grade, and I just didn't want to be considered a bad kid at all, like because I I just wasn't, but I was tired, and uh, I was the only one crying, and I knew everybody else was looking at me like, what a <laughs> and oh. I was just like, because it was the cool kids who had also been, and I was just like, mm. and I had Dang. to walk back to class with them, and it was just like, so embarrassing. Dang, but you were cool for that moment. Yeah. With the cool kids. Such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a straight A boy. It was literally like, please love me. And it's like, you know, for a teacher, it, 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 it was so deep. Yeah, some of them don't. <laughs> Dang. Uh, so, yeah, I was a straight A boy, but I, I, it was talking for me. I would talking, get in trouble yeah. with that. Yeah. And then I had a sleep thing in, in middle school. Like the period before lunch didn't matter how much fucking sleep I got. The period before lunch, See, I, I'm, I can't even keep my fucking eyes open. <laughs> and the teachers, like the school literally called my mom and was like, is he not getting enough sleep at night? And she's like, he literally gets like fucking nine, ten hours of sleep a night. Like... I don't know what to tell you. And just that period before lunch, dude, I was just out like every time. Couldn't keep my fucking eyes open. No. Uh, I was a, a, just a little snoozer. A little snoozy boy. Yeah. Did you have like a recess or something before that class? Nope. So it wasn't like you were just running yourself No, tired. something like that. That was like my lapse in energy, like my dip in energy. You know, so like your circadian food. rhythm. Just, yeah, yeah, my rhythm was like 11 a.m. Time to go back to sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've, been, we've been up four hours. <laughs> Should probably take a nap. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that was a fun one. And then, oh, uh, here's a story that, man, that was funny. This, this is actually around notes. Um, I was a nice, I was a nice dude, and and with some nice dreams. Hey, I'm a nice, nice dude. dude. With nice some nice <laughs> um, and this was in middle school, and like all the teachers had like I had a good relationship with most of my teachers because I was like just a pretty like talkative kid. So like even though I would get in trouble for that, like they knew I was smart and got good grades. So whatever, had a pretty good relationship. Um, I was friends with pretty much everyone. Like I didn't have a group. I was friends with everyone, cool people, not cool people, whatever, guys, girls. Like I was just friendly with everyone. And let's call this girl Penelope. I was friends with Penelope. Penelope. That's not her name, but whatever. Yep. Um, I was Penelope. friends with Penelope. <laughs> Penelope. And, and we were like kind of being friendly for a while. And then this, one of the teachers one time, my one of my favorite teachers, she, she was like, hey, Devin, like we got to talk after class, just you and me. And I was like, oh, fuck, like what? Like I didn't. So and she sat me down and she's like, I don't know how to say this, but like, she's like, multiple <laughs> teachers have found notes from girls, like, talking about like, I, like, if you, if you like them or not, or like, if you're leading them on or not, like, basically like this, like, drama of these girls, like, multiple <laughs> writing about like, Whatever, Devin. What does that tell you? I know. I yeah. really love this story. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I literally hadn't thought about this in so long until the notes episode. And but the truth was, like, I wasn't leading them on. I was just sexy friendly. as hell. I was just hot and friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Devin's a flirter, though. You flirt. I am, but like, I'm flirt. I flirt with Daniel. Like, I, I flirt. 
a non dis like it's not about you sex. You think that those girls could have discerned that, or that you could have discerned those that? Those little at that age? girls couldn't. All they knew is they were feeling something somewhere that they had never known before. <laughs> Dang. Right. That's the truth. Yeah. Is all they knew is they were getting attention. And you're like, do I do I rub it? Do I just think about it? Do I just like what is it? You know what I'm saying? Dang. You're just like. <laughs> And, and and there's like that frustrating two weeks before you really know how to deal with it where you're just like, I'm frustrated. Like, oh, I'm mad at it when I get that feeling. Dang. And I and guess they wrote, it. I guess they wrote notes and multiple girls had notes fall into the hands of teachers that I literally had to have. Intervention. And, yeah. And like, she was so like kind about, she was just like, what's going on? Kind of like, why is this happening with multiple? Are you leading them on? And I'm like, they're just what does that even friends. mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. dude, I was so not. I wasn't trying, like, there's no motive. I was just Dang. friendly. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's hard, it's hard being So you're beautiful. saying basically it's everybody hard, liked you. <laughs> what I'm saying liked is, you? everyone was falling in love. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, once again, like, once, uh, once again, you know, <laughs> nobody fucking liked me in school. Oh, no. Didn't have a boyfriend, didn't have this, that, or other. Like, I had a little one when I, like, moved out here or whatever, but, like, Which all the boys shocking, literally- because you had breasts. They were literally just like, oh, you know, they just treated me as, like, this, like, the smart person. Like, a smart person. Mm, they not, weren't, like- They weren't, they weren't, uh, make, they weren't their attracted. Their eyes weren't making no. their way down. No. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I was just they like, were missing and, oh man, yeah. I had such a crush on Robbie Carhoff. And of course, Emily Craig like Emily had to like Craig be- still, still some feelings, huh? Yeah, yeah like be it. with him. I'll never forget how, how horrible I felt when he was moving away and he said goodbye to Emily. Oh. But not me with that tender look. <laughs> never Lindsay with that tender look. He's just like, all right. Then. Until me. <laughs> Until you. Hey. And I was like, zzz, zzz. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, I never had anything like that in, in, in school. Really just been asexual my whole life, and now I'm trying to jump into that sexual pool and... You weren't asexual with me. Hey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good stuff. Hey, Daniel. Howdy, guys. <laughs> did you get here? <laughs> I, yeah, I've been here. I've been sitting. Just, wow. wow. I can wow. give you guys some space if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <Dude>. it. <laughs> yeah. No, I never pa was passing notes. I never got notes. Notes were never about me. Even yeah. to your like friend girls, like y'all didn't do it. I felt like ladies did it more than guys. What what about That's those another. notes that were like like mm -mm. this was probably elementary school, the do you like me? Oh, notes. I remember, remember those. Remember those? No. I remember oh, those. Sorry, yeah. nerd. But <laughs> sorry, nerd. They just had a little box. Sorry, nerd. They just uh skip over you. But box box. Like, this yes, was like no. a thing. This was like part of elementary school communication. Do yeah. you like me in a little box for yes, no? And I think people would maybe. often add a maybe, maybe. which yeah, is just yeah. like why give yourself that ambiguity? Yeah. <laughs> All right. The only one of those notes that I ever did was actually, it was in person, but that style of note. And my friend was like, asked a guy that I liked if he liked me while I was standing there putting my shoes on in front of him. And he just goes. <laughs> oh, that's got to hurt. How old? How old? 12. Devastating. Dang, yeah. Devastating. Heartbreaking. And then that was the, the next day I moved to California and I was just like, forget all that. I need it. Yeah. I'm, I'm an LA it. girl now. I'm getting my restart. <laughs> Fuck you, Nebraska boys. And Damn. you know what? Kevin Farley, you know who you are. Kevin Fartley. No, he's actually a good friend of my family's. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it was him? Farley's, yeah. It was him who said. He literally just goes, I'll never. It's like a s snapshot in my mind forever. Well, that's why that that's why that note exists. Because doing it in front of someone, so harsh. Oh, yeah. The note, if it if the check is no, you can cry in private. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, right? That's yeah. great. I think I got a ew no once before. No. Yeah. I mean, but it's the easiest thing. I think, and you've never experienced that. No, I for sure. Have. Yeah, yeah. It's no, just at the that age, thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There yeah. were times where I was like. Hello, and they're like, Ugh. Yeah. I'm like, I'm a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, would you live to fight another day? <laughs> That's right, you do. That's great. That's right, you do, man. Dang. Or either the they ask them, oh, do you, do you like this person? They're like, oh. <laughs> 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 now that one hurts. No, that and it's hurts. just like, oh no, I love him. No, no, no. Oh, oh, like he's so oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, she's cool. She's cool as hell. But I'll, do you want to fuck? <laughs> oh, that's no, my dog, right? Usually there. not. <laughs> usually my not. That's my buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Notes. Little little baby loves too. Such a funny thing, man. Yeah. Do you like me? Yes. Ah. Dang. That nothing happens. The human desire to be loved. 
Yeah. It's to be appreciated. Dude, I ran through every (laughs) Ned's cast member before I landed on Devin. Damn. Remember that? (laughs) The the chosen one. (laughs) You take that one of two ways. I just remember uh, like telling Theo that I liked him and we like held hands at the movie. He's so mysterious. And Rob. And then Dev was like, hey. And I was like, fuck you guys. Hey. Yeah, you definitely had you definitely had your pick for a minute there. Rob Theo, between Rob Theo and me. Any others? No, Kyle scared me. Really? Because he had lost. He had used that big dong on. <laughs> he had already lost his virginity. Oh, you needed someone who. Not who on I was set. He had didn't know what to do with it. it was after nets. Well, yeah. all right. It was. After I love how you said that big dong. Know, Just using Jesus. that, it's like Jesus sounds so factual. Jesus Christ! Right? Using that big dong. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell! <laughs> but yeah, uh, you, yeah, you were yeah yeah. It reached that point where you were liked by by all the boys. M- meaning she had breasts. <laughs> Breasts will do that. Yeah. They have that it, effect it got, on them. It, b- got, b- b- it got messy and complicated with uh, with old Coconut Head and you and me. It got messy and complicated with Oh, is with there Rob. drama? Yeah, there, there was drama back oh, in the day. Oh, dear God. Uh, let's invite him back on to talk about that. I, you know, it's in the past, but there was there was drama between... But it happens. Mm-hmm. For, yeah, it, it, it gets like, messy. Really, every, and it's so, it's so far back there, there's not residual feelings, but like, that was a big that was a big. Was, I know it was big, big mess, at that time. I can't believe he... I yeah, can't believe big mess, man. Oh, my God. God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, that 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 interaction set the course of like my next 10 years so like it th- that was the moment. Like I can remember the moment in my car like when we were like I I just I know the moment that the heart broke and then mm-hmm. it was like I don't think that I'm like am I still here? Am I okay? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. And so then I then Alexa, which I will never failed to be so, so grateful for her because I I needed her and she you know really um stood with me at a time when I dude I was lost at sea I didn't yeah. even know the amount of pain that was being triggered from our breakup and yeah. then subsequently just the whole friend group dissolved yeah. and like everybody that I'd grown to love and trust probably for the first time in my life was like yeah. gone yeah that it was such a hard time just because first love which was so big but at that age you you have no capacity and and where our loves were at at the time, we're never going to stay yeah, together, right? Exactly. And couldn't at that exactly. age, right? So like, but loved each other so deeply, loved Ned so deeply, Ned's ends, that's already difficult, but we're still dating for a while. And then our shit just ended it's, it's so messy, really. Yeah. And just like kind of shocking and quick and painful. Like it, yeah. it, it, it devastated me too. And like yeah. set, set just such a strange next journey. But that is growing up is like, Oh fuck! This thing has crumbled, and now I'm like finding my way into the unknown, mm-hmm. and I have no skills yet to know what's good, what's bad. Like, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a time, Lindsay. That was a fucking time. Boy, we it was had a, a time. messy time. Glad, uh, honestly, truly, so fucking grateful. Um, life has gone the way it's gone. That like we've gotten to stay in each other's lives and now like be in each other's lives in this way, like mm-hmm. in a real way and in, in an a real intimate way, way and yeah. in a way where we're building together. Um, and like, I value both your friendships so much now. Like I couldn't imagine my life without your friendships now. Right. But wild, so right? much of our it's lives were me. like yeah. apart for so long. It's so interesting, man. Life's so fucking weird and cool. Yeah. Nice. Acquiring yeah. adult understanding enough to kind of see eye to eye with people. Mm. Even yeah. when there is that little bit of hurt. Yeah. You know? Yeah, even with Rob, it's like now I'm like we're all good, yeah. you know, like yeah. fucking it's all it's all good. Yeah. But damn, was that messy at the time? Yeah, those moments can feel so real. I'd love to hear more about that one day. Maybe someday, we have Rob Let's get back, someday. back on or, someday. Deb. <laughs> Let's get Deb back on here. What the fuck? <laughs> So Is Rob. it Theo Rob or me, you bitch? <laughs> pick, you gotta pick. You gotta pick, I'm Lindsay. doing this new season. I gotta round Robin you again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool, man. Tips. You guys got any tips? Tips. 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 Um, tips. Take notes on yourself before taking notes on anyone else, a.k.a., Ooh. you know, glass houses. I don't know what that means. Yeah. But it's like, don't. Like, ye without sin cast the first stone. Yeah. Right? So basically self-appraise yourself before you, you know, project your appraisal onto somebody else, a.k.a. notes, a.k.a. full circle. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Jesus, don't tickle me. Jesus Christ, Lindsay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'll flip this tape. Jesus Christ. <laughs> do, it, do it. Do it. Weak. <laughs> Weak. Yeah. There it is. That <laughs> one's juicy. There it is. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, my tip uh, notes this conversation. Um, my tip is here's my tip. Uh, write if you are struggling. If you're someone struggling with self love, I want you to write a love letter to your self or younger self. Mm, yeah. Right. Acknowledge yourself for the beautiful things you can see in yourself. And if that's hard for you, then that's a good exercise. Like, look for what you want. What would you want someone to write a love letter and tell you and, and acknowledge you for? And um, do it for yourself. Um, just as a practice in self-love and in acknowledging yourself. Because sometimes it's very easy to forget about ourselves. And actually that, like, you need to know your value. And sometimes you actually have to spell that out for yourself. So literally, wow. write yourself a love mm -hmm. letter. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just mm -hmm. I just came I up with it. that. That's really great. I love it. All right. That's so okay. good. <laughs> <The> notes, <laughs> <to yourself. laughs> That's Liddy. Um, notes. Notes. Uh, my tip would be so that we can avoid procrastination. Um, let's take note of the uh, the things that we need to do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, because that way you can have tabs on it, and nothing will just uh, come up on you, and you gotta stand there and be like, "Oh my god, how did this deadline?" You knew it was coming the whole time. Yep, you did. You so, did. You are not a victim of your own procrastination. I mean, you a, are, but you're not a victim. Stay prepared. Yep. Guys. <laughs> take note and take action. I was talking to myself. Woo! Thanks for listening, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Hit us in the comments. We love hearing from you. Join our Patreon if you want more from us. Uh, Patreon.com slash Ned's Pod. We love you. We'll see you next week. Okay. Claw -claws. Thanks for watching this week's episode. <laughs> Big shout out to our Woo! patrons. Patrons. We love you. Thank you for supporting us. Thank yes. you for making this show possible. Patreon.com slash Ned's Pod. Mm -hmm. We got bonus content. Oh, yeah. We got patron only live streams. That. We take your questions and answer them on the pod. That part. It's yeah. a good time. Wow. Do it. And a major shout out. Um, either over my face or your face uh, to, our to our super, super friends super friend. hey, yeah. super friend. time for the super friend dance super friend. time for the super friend dance, dance. dance. Super friends super friends. Super dance. Uh, dance. big shout out to our super duper friends super duper friends legendary X Ack X A K X A K and yeah. then who else we got? We also got Eve. Rebecca. Rebecca? Yeah, let's go. And Eve. Uh -huh. Um yeah, thank you guys for real. Super we love you. Super we'll see you on the live Super stream. Dance. We love you guys. Peace. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. To see clips from this pod, go check out the Ned's Pod Clips YouTube at the link in the description. And if you need even more of us in your life, come and join our Patreon, also at the link in the description. See you soon.